you've been listening. It's 11.48. And I want you to talk to my YouTube audience in terms of what you heard today. We've had a, an amazing day, an amazing night, actually, listening to what I consider probably the best version of my own system. I think I managed to beat myself with regards to the previous presentations that, I, presentations that I've had here in my room. Uh, but, you know, it's one man's opinion. I'd definitely like for you to give yours. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away, and I'll tell you why. We listen to music tonight that is very, very, very difficult to reproduce in a system. Uh, music that necessarily wasn't really mixed perfectly, hard rock, have a, a, a lot of different things going on at the same time. Any system that you hear that through at volume is generally going to start sounding a little mangled, a little smeared, and um, just a little strained. It's, it's going to hurt your ears a little bit. And we played this music tonight. You told me that it was measuring out at 90, 100 dB. Peaks, yep. Yeah, peaks of 100, 90 on average, yep. Yeah. And it was sheer clarity. I could hear a level of separation in songs that I've been listening to for more than 20 years that I, I had never heard before. Um, I could listen to these songs at a level of volume that I have never been able to listen to that before because they would just start you know, disintegrating. The sound just wouldn't sound right and it would start hurting your ears. Um, I mean, I'm blown away. Uh, I, I'm truly blown away by what I've heard in here uh, tonight. It's just, the, the one word I keep coming back to is clarity. I think, I think there's two words here, yeah. clarity and musicality. Right, so I've been sitting here and I've been listening to this music, and I haven't been analyzing it. I've just been losing myself in the music and discovering parts of these songs that have been part of my life since I was a, you know, a young man, and rediscovering them. Right, like that's that to me is what this hobby is all about. Right? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's rediscovering and reconnecting with the music that I've been listening to for decades and, and finding out new parts of it. It's almost like you know, you're married to the same woman for 50 years and all of a sudden there's this whole new side of this woman that you didn't even know existed <laughs> and, and you've just discovered. And it's like being with a whole brand new woman. Right. And, and that's what it's been like listening to this system. I'm, I'm listening to songs that I used to listen to in the 2000s or in the 90s or 90s. even in the 80s and I'm rediscovering them. It's almost like I'm hearing them for the first time. I'm, I'm getting information given to me in a way that I've never heard before and it's, it's remarkable. One of the things we did was to, I mean he selected uh, Audio Slave um, which of course by audiophile standards is not, necess it's not any it's not an audiophile song. It's not that level of music that we typically play here. Uh, but I agree with what you said, how the system was able to just pick apart, completely, completely unpack the, comp the, the complex passages, if you will, and just serve them to you in a nice kind of way. It never really rushed right through the most complicated parts of a song. Um, and yet, it was revealing and forgiving enough. You knew you were still listening to a lot of resolution, and you knew that the song is not necessarily the best song, uh, but it was still pleasant to listen to, and to your point, it reached out and touched you in your soul. You felt this connection, this trans, this feeling of being transported back to that day in which you first, that, you first heard that song. I feel like... A well-designed system should be capable of transporting you back in time when you play music. Mm. If you are not able to literally leave your chair, your mind, leave the room, and take you back in time, in my opinion, you just don't have the proper gear in front of you. And one of the most difficult things to do, which is something that I have been explaining to Tika here as far as the importance of reducing the noise floor of a system um, I think that that's one of the biggest things that I have accomplished here I have managed to eliminate a lot of the hissing a lot of the excess uh, noise or garbage that typically sits on top of music and uh, 
I have personally discovered that when you do that, the the smallest details begin to emerge, begin to present themselves, and that is added music, that is added information that has soul, that has emotion. Um, I almost feel as if when you have a system that has too much noise, whether it be the power, whether it be you know your grid, whatever it may be, uh, you end up with a system that has great macros. Sonically speaking, it presents to you the the biggest, the most gigantic parts of the music or the song, but forgets about the smallest details. And I think these smallest, minute details are what really, really connects with you at a whole new level. Um, so when building a system, I'm highly, highly, I'm more than ever huge with regards to lowering your noise floor. Um, I'm glad that you agree with what we heard here. Um, I agree with you with the, as far as the clarity is next level. My channel has not heard the presentation yet as far as what we're talking about. To give uh, the audience some context, he heard my system here with the new grounding system. Tika was uh, kind enough to pass by here and pay me a visit and uh, leave me with his impressions of what he's heard. Um, now, of course, people do not know, but we are putting together a crazy system for him too at home, which includes, you know, the Mephisto, the Wilson Audio Alex, uh, you know, and a lot of components that you saw here in my channel in the past. So he's putting a crazy rig together as well, and he wanted to see what's coming his way. Um, and I'm glad that the takeaway tonight has been positive. I mean, it means a lot to me that you came by, Tika. I really appreciate you know, you taking the time out of your busy day to, you know, stay with me here for a few hours. And, you know, I have been vocal with you as far as me not having the opportunity to do this often with others. Um, but, you know, having you here and letting you reassure me of what I'm hearing means the world to me. Um, this is just that validation point that I need at times when I think maybe I'm not onto something, maybe I don't have anything special and I'm crazy, and it happens to all of us audiophiles, Tika, believe it or not. It's a thought that all of us go through, really go through. Um, but when we get to Puerto Rico, where you reside, and we build your rig, um, we hope to do a video from his home in Puerto Rico yeah. um, and uh, be able to bring you guys uh, a video of what I what we did together, what we put together in his home. And I hope you guys really, really enjoy that. I hope you guys really enjoy um, what we, the special thing that we're uh, cooking up. Um, so that will come in a future video. I've been listening to your videos for a while and I listened to them over, over the headphones and, and, and they blew me away. Uh, the, the quality of the recording is amazing, but to actually be here in the room and to hear it and to understand these, there's a term in audio, right? The black backgrounds. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. So I, I, intellectually, I knew what a black background was. Right. But I didn't know what a black background was until I was in this chair. Got it. When, 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 when the background is completely silent and the and the voice just comes out at you and the music just comes out of you and there's none of that background noise that plagues any other form of yep. music I've ever heard coming out of any kind of system and I've listened to a lot of high dollar systems. I've never, you, you know, you call it that uh, that ground floor, right? Of, the, the of noise, noise floor. The noise, noise floor. floor. Yeah. Like I understand, I really understand what that means. Now though. you see. I see that, and yeah. I can understand the difference that it makes in the overall experience of the music. You've ruined me for life. <laughs> I can never listen to any other system. I and I I thank God that you're coming to Puerto Rico to put this system together, yeah. uh, because. I, I I can't go back, yeah. right? You took me to the promised land here, and I can't go back. It's a difficult thing to accomplish, and you know, before we forget, the synergistic effect is is key. Um, a lot of you guys who are building systems um, are constantly chasing components in order to fix a problem, but remember, this isn't about a certain component. This is a system, right? Everything plays a role, and knowing what goes with what is key. Unfortunately, the only way to acquire that is with trial and error. Unfortunately, guys, I've said it many times, I am guilty of 
uh, doing what many of you many of you guys do, which is to mix and match different brands. I have done it in the past, but now at this level that I'm playing, I can tell you that it, you become now the cook. Once you have the ingredients in that kitchen, you can make a kick-ass meal or garbage you know, meal. And, and it does not matter the amount of money you spend. It makes no difference. I am willing to put this system in front of a lot of systems costing far more money. And I promise you that I can embarrass a lot of systems. I promise you that. Okay? And I don't have any... Obviously, yes, we understand if we look at the MSRP here, it is a lot of money. But what I'm saying in general terms is the magic that I have built here, I mean, this is like Disneyland, essentially. I mean, it really is. I mean, you just need Mickey to come out. And, and I mean, you believe it. I promise you. I mean, it is that magical in here. Yes. Uh, but it has come through a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of broken pieces, a lot of, you know, trials and errors. And, and I love it. But that's what's given me, given me the opportunity to grow my own hearing, my own years to a next, to, to a next chapter. I can probably, now I was telling you this, um, I can probably come into a, into any system right now and I feel capable enough to know if what I'm hearing is something special or something that is still partially cooked. It still needs a little more seasoning. It still, it seems, it still needs a little more help here and there, more clarity, more depth, uh, more base, less base. I, can, I feel that comfortable now because of what I have here, that I can... And I wish you guys can come into my home and hear this for yourselves. I wish you guys could come here and experience what Tika has experienced here. Um, words just unfortunately cannot describe no. what we have. You have to hear it. And yes, YouTube do compress. It, it does compress a lot. But I am also hearing that you do get a pretty good idea for the most part, but nothing like the real thing. Absolutely nothing. And uh, yeah, so once again, you know. We'll continue to do this, Tika, uh, going forward, and, and, and there's a lot more changes that will happen, I suspect, to your channel after tonight. So I hope that, you know, you have had an, an amazing experience here in my home. It's been a pleasure having you, um, and, uh, you know, that hopefully we can continue to build this relationship and continue to do more great things for you. Absolutely. And your future systems and whatever your future, uh, your audio journey might be. Thank you, Jay. Thank you for having me. Thank you for sharing this with me and, and sharing me with your channel. and. I'm just very grateful that there's somebody out you, like you out there who has been putting up their own money, their own time, and their own effort. And, and it's what really what gave me an enormous amount of credibility when I watched your channel. And it's why I reached out to you. you know, I know you have your service. And yep. I said, okay, here's a guy who's bucking up his own money, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And uh, that meant a lot to me. Right, it, it, I, I knew that you were going to tell me what you truly believed, not like a dealer who's only going to talk, you know, talk about what's in his actual store, and uh, and that's rare. Though, you know, at least in the very high end, I don't think it exists. No, I, I, I mean, I don't think so. I haven't seen yeah. it. I haven't seen it. But the importance of, um, and I'm not saying I'm the guy for everyone by any means, but what I am saying is having someone that you can uh, that can guide you is important. I know a lot of you guys, just like you, Tika, and everybody else, have jobs. You guys don't have the time, the effort to go and embark on what I have, what I have been doing here. You guys don't have the time. Let's let's face it. I, I but, couldn't go through three hundred amps. Jay. That's what I'm saying. So, but it would be nice to have somebody whose years you can trust. My system is essentially my resume at this point in terms of what I am capable of building. And I think if any of you guys who are considering building a system. Um, could come in here and listen to this, I bet you, I bet you, you guys would co-sign on the dotted line. You guys would sign on the dotted line at the bottom and hire me to do what you need me to do with your rig. I promise you I can bring you to a level that you didn't think was possible. But the only way I can do this is by you guys trusting me a little more and letting me show you what I can do. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Tika, once again for paying me a visit. And stay tuned for more. Take care.